Today we get this beast on all fours. All right, so now that we've got all that front suspension redone, um, I wanna jump on and see if we can mount up these tires. So these are the tires I picked up for $40. So we're gonna mount the two fronts up and see what they look like. Uh, I'm not too sure on the rears yet as they are 11 inch wide. I think they're just gonna be a little bit too wide for this, but we will see how we go. And we can actually see what this thing looks like then. And then we can jump onto the rear jack shaft. All right, so I've got this thing mocked up just with a few shock absorbers I had laying around. Um, I just wanted to see what this thing is gonna look like in full suspension. Uh, the front is sagging a little bit. I think it's a little bit heavier than the rear, but um, I think this thing looks pretty good. This will give a rough idea of what our suspension's gonna look like. Um, we do have a fair bit of camber. The front obviously needs to go up a little bit more, but I'm thinking about adjusting this sort of off camera and getting this a little bit better so we can have a lot more suspension travel. So now I wanna jump onto the rear CV. So in the last video, we made up the front chain drive differential. So on the rear, we're going to do a solid drive. So both rear wheels always spin. So we're going to uh, machine up a piece of one inch stock, um, two pillow block bearings and some hubs for the CVs. All right, so cut out two bits of plate. These are going to be our mounting plates for our CV shafts. Um, so they'll bolt in four, four bolt holes there. So what we've got here is our hub to one inch um, shaft. So I've got that and I've also tapped a um, center point in here and I've turned down a little bit of one inch um, stock here as a nice little center point so what we can do is put that down there and we can grab our center point and mark it uh, just like so and then we'll be able to tack this on and we can drill our four holes and then we can make up our shaft
so we've got that cv spool tacked in there and it does look pretty good now i've lowered it down to about right height because these cvs are a bit limited on their sort of angle range that's about maxed out there so we'll have to bring these up a little bit um, and play around with this suspension height so i'm still not happy with that anyway we can figure that out uh, in the next video but uh, for now i just want to put on the body panels and see what this thing looks like outside and uh, get a good glimpse for you guys and just show you how how cool this thing really does look Right, so check this out guys this thing looks like an absolute beast i'm absolutely loving how this thing is sitting now i'm thinking about riding this thing about this height uh, maybe a tad higher but i think this will work out better because of those cv axles now i do have some wheels to adjust with the camber i know they do look a bit funny but uh, i will do that i'll probably just do that off camera just get all that nice and set right that rear cv spool has worked out quite well uh, we will be jumping into that front one in the next video of this project uh, and getting all this drive line hooked up so we can spin everything but yeah thanks for being patient guys this project has been taking a lot of work and i have had a lot of other things on the go at the moment so that workshop at the back the new one is hopefully starting next week and i have been doing a lot of demolition in the house as you guys may have seen on the other socials and a lot of work on my cruiser as well so this thing's been chucked on the back burner for a bit. That's going to be all for today's video, guys. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys liked the video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss out anything. I'll see you guys in the next one.